Good afternoon. This looks psycho. This fiendishly entertaining. Is this really going to be your next picture? Yes, madam. By the way, try the finger sandwiches. They're real fingers. Hi, I'm Salim. I'm Liz, and we're joined today by veteran actor of film and television Richard Portnow. He's got a long list of credits, but some notable ones are Good Morning Vietnam, Radio mm -hmm. Days, Tin Men, Seven, Barton Fink, I could go on forever. Thank you for being here, Richard. <laughs> it's my pleasure. I'm happy to be on the show. Thanks for having me. And Richard was one of the leads in the new film Hitchcock, directed by... Vin Sasha Gervasi. There we go. I can't do it at all. <laughs> what is it about acting that keeps it fresh for you? When you're acting, you're learning about yourself. In your research, you learn a lot about human nature. You need to in order to embrace truth and honesty in your performance. One of the things that uh, is a gift to actors is that not always, but occasionally we get a chance to illuminate the human condition. And in so doing, we learn a lot about it for ourselves as well as for the audience. Hopefully the audience will leave the theater learning something about what's going on. So, how did you get into acting? By accident. Yeah, I really had no uh, direction towards being an actor at all. Uh, when I was in college, mm -hmm. I was flunking out. I didn't want to be in school. I wanted to be out there moving, grooving. And a friend of mine said, uh, listen, man, you're flunking out. They're going to send you overseas. He said, uh, why don't you take acting? And I, I, I didn't <laughs> get it. He said, if you take acting, it is a guaranteed A. You take the course, <laughs> you get an A. They want to encourage you. There are no papers to write, no tests to take, no books to read, and there's always pretty girls in the class. <laughs> and I thought, great, this sounds terrific. Where do I sign? And everything he said was true. And uh, I did not shine in college. I stuck with it, the folly of youth, not even considering the fact that it's almost impossible to make a living. And when I got out of college, all of a sudden something clicked. I guess I found myself and uh, I was quickly signed by William Morris and that's what started things off for me. So it was all an accident, you know, I had no intention of becoming an actor. What kind of research did you do for the character of Barney Balaban and how did you depart from the history or his personal history? Well. Uh, the research I was limited to was what I could find out about the guy through Google, which is the greatest invention of all time. <laughs> uh, strangely enough, there's not a lot about Barney Balaban. There's only two or three pictures of him. But I read a lot about the guy and uh, how he got started in the business, and it all began with his mom. She would take the whole family. For right, for yeah, it's very exactly. appropriate. She'd take the whole family to the movies back in the 30s in Chicago, and she realized one day that this was a theater filled with people that were each spending 25 cents, ah. and they left the theater with nothing. They didn't leave with a plate or a piece of clothing. She thought, wow, this, this is probably a good business to good get scam, into, really. a good oh. scam. <laughs> so they started opening theaters, and uh, they had a big chain of theaters, the Balabans, and that's how he spiraled up into becoming uh, one of the presidents of Paramount Pictures. As far as departing, since there wasn't a lot of information about the guy and his uh, personal habits, I really didn't have anything to depart from, so I decided to play the part uh, I didn't wear underwear. Really? I'm kidding. Oh, man. <laughs> that would have been so exciting. <laughs> Are you a fan of Hitchcock? Did you enjoy, there's a little part of you that enjoyed being the antagonist to him. Oh, to yeah. Him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw Psycho when it came out, and uh, I jumped out of my skin. And I remember the campaign. No one will be allowed into the theater after the movie starts. There will be ambulances standing by. All of that happened, you know. It was a brilliant uh, way to promote the film. I remember it very well. <laughs> Terrific film. I love North by Northwest. I think the guy was great. When you're acting in a film or on stage, you try to embrace the reality of the character and the situation, but you know that you're not really that person. I'm Richard, opposite Anthony Hopkins. That was really uh, quite something to be standing toe to toe with one of my idols. I think the guy is just a brilliant actor. And to, uh, to square off with the guy, that's what was really very exciting, very thrilling. I loved working with him. 
tell us a little bit about working with your director, Sasha Gervais. Did I do it right that You got time? it right. You got it right. Yes. Uh, coming from the world of documentary, I'm curious to how he treated this, this fictional story and how he worked with actors and, and your relationship with him. Everything starts with the director. The energy on the set begins with him and it filters down to the security staff that are blocking off the streets. It all begins with him. And Sasha generated such a youthful enthusiasm and a friendly attitude with everyone that we had a sublime crew and set and time. And he's very specific, which I love. I think that that's key to receiving direction is be specific. Work with active verbs. Don't tell me what my attitude should be, but give me a verb to embrace. In this scene, you want to destroy. You want to celebrate this person. You want to love them. And then you try and figure out as many different ways in which you can do that. What's next for you? Well, I just finished two films. After Hitchcock, I did two back-to-back. -back. I did Underdogs, mm -hmm. which is a high school football movie for Doug Durth. And uh, just a week ago, I got back from New Orleans where I finished Old Boy, the remake oh. of Old Boy for Spike Lee. All right, Richard, thanks for coming. Here's to Hitchcock. To Hitchcock. 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 Ah. Ah. We open November 23rd. Help us win the weekend. Go then. Thank you. Same technique that we didn't know about. <laughs> well, it seems. I'm like not wearing any now. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do with this guy? He's terrible. But we gotta cast him in something. He's a theater major. 